I'm back again at the same place, different time, my dear friends. I hope you are doing all right around the world. I'm back with another story. Yes, of course. <laughs> this is a story every day, you know. Every hour, every second, every minute, there's something to talk about. If I do that, posting a video over time, every minute, won't be good. <laughs> right? Because I'll keep you busy. I'll keep you watching all the time. And nobody wants that, you know. Nobody wants to spend all their time on the computer watching or on the phone. No. It's not right. You can spend your time a little bit here and there. You watch the videos and you have your free time, private time with your friends, with your family. <laughs> but boy, this January transfer window, it's going to be a lot of video. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of video. I'm doing this. I'm feeling bad for you because I'm going to be here all the time. I'm going to be a post in left, right and center. It's getting closer and it's very, very nice. <laughs> I love transfer window. Let me tell you, I love transfer window business. It just feels so good. You know, you've seen this club doing this, this club doing this. It's amazing. Now, on Chelsea Football Club, what they're planning this January transfer window, we heard few months ago they are talking about a striker and a midfield they want right good stuff on inter milan i never thought i would talk about inter milan but on inter milan the information coming out over there they are you know trying to survive they don't have money in the bank <laughs> bank cropsy something is coming out we don't know if it's true but if that is the case we can get their midfield. There's a good midfield on Inter Milan. I forgot the guy's name. Oh my God. I had the name in my mind. Oh wow. Sometimes, man. <laughs> Sometimes it's just for good things, right? You know? <laughs> but there's a good midfield over there. So let's see what's going to happen. The January transfer window. It's not a long transfer window. It's a short one. So things happen so quickly and I love that now yesterday before i start showing you about chelsea stuff right so yesterday there was this geezer came on i feel gilchrist the guy performing in a short amount of time he put his life on danger you know he's tucked in and he was showing the prayers where, where to go he's the kid he's like 20 year old kid but the passion he showed when he came in john terry type you know, Droba, Frank Lampard, all those guys, he showed right there, he's only 20 years old. And he showed exactly like that. Look at this, I have the video, let me show you. I have a little video, it's a short one, it's not a big one, look at that. He's putting his life on risk. <laughs> I have never seen any player do that. Honestly, I've never seen anyone do that. This time, this player we have, yeah, they are young, yeah, they are young. But they are not doing that. Nobody can do that. They're all scared. I don't want to get hurt. <laughs> yeah, that's just showed you. Just showed you what type of a player we have in this young man. I'm not saying, yeah, we need to buy more 20 year old. And yeah, they're going to be like that. Some people, they may think that. I have to be honest. Some people, they'll be like, oh, yeah, we are good. We are good. There will be some people like that. Yeah, we can go buy 20 year old. And we can just teach them to do that. Because I've seen that people think differently. <laughs> and it's fun. You know, it's fun how people think. It's very interesting. <laughs> but that's a good stuff, you know to see and to remind ourselves we have some good stuff at the club. So, yeah, let me know down in the comment what do you think about this uh, young kid. Now, let's get into this business uh, about Chelsea, what they're saying. Check out this. Chelsea increasing feel that a move for the right striker in January can transform another disappointing season. And then we continue from the Chelsea Dodgers. Chelsea want to dip into the market to fix their problem with Mauricio Pochettino's team struggling down in teeth in the Premier League. They increasingly feel that a move for a right striker can transform another disappointing season. Who is the striker we are looking for? This is what I am smelling now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm smelling for a striker like this, but I don't know who. You know, you can smell anything, right? If 
you are cooking a meal or if your wife is cooking a meal if your mother or your sister or anybody is cooking a meal in the kitchen and you are in a sitting room sitting right it smells very good very fantastic good and you're like mm, that smells nice but if you taste it in the mouth does it taste good yes of course sometimes you taste good sometimes you taste horrible you just eat fast and then drink water and then you are trying to make them feel good you know the meal you you cook it's a very nice meal <laughs> but in the wrong run they will see that you're not happy about it <laughs> this is the same thing with chelsea what meal are we gonna get in january that can feed us fans you know we want to see a goal scoring machine like didier dropper at the club so who is coming i want to smell a good one <laughs> i want to see a good fit healthy meat you know we want to see that <laughs> <laughs> if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, let's see what's going to happen. I just hope. I just hope and play. Look, we need elite striker. We need somebody who can take these young lads into another dimension, into another level. We want to see that. Hopefully they know. Hopefully they know what's happening at the club. Do they? <laughs> Do they know? Wow, there are some people who are saying it's not only these Chelsea owners and the directors of the football club. Pochettino is the one to blame. We have talent in the team, blah, 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 and this and this. And I agree with that, you know, 100%. But the main thing is the owner and the director. Because they are the one who is looking into the transfer market. Pochettino doesn't have power. And if the manager doesn't have power in the transfer market, if the manager doesn't doesn't have power in the team, you know, he has he has to have some power in the in the team, you know, some power so he can control. If he doesn't, it's better you sack him and you get another manager. But which manager is gonna, are you gonna get if you are like this? If you are uh, in that mode? controlling mode you know so it's just chaos it's just unbelievable only god can help <laughs> only god can help so you have to kneel down on your knees and start playing <laughs> it is crazy anyway so chelsea they are looking for a striker in january we know victor oshman i don't think it will happen he just signed a contract at napoli and that's gonna be a very difficult one <sighs> Yeah, if we are going to go for a strike like Victor Oshman, we have to pay maybe 250 something like that, for Napoli to release him. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of money to pay. But I don't think this owner, they will pay that. And I don't think it's fair to pay that much money because we don't know. If Victor Oshman can do it in the Premier League, he's a great striker and he's a striker you need, but we don't know, you know? So that's the thing I'm scared to pay big amount for a striker who is not experienced in the Premier League and then come out Chelsea and then just in the mud. You don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, we spend a billion on these players. A billion. And I have to remind us all the time about that because sometimes I forget myself. We forget, right? So yeah, let me know down in the comment about the striker situation. What do you think about that? Now, yesterday we played Crystal Paris. Romeo Lavia had a good game. And this morning when I woke up, I just received a phone call. <laughs> a phone call on my phone. Look at that. It's not a phone call. I'm just joking about it. It's a message I received, of course. But it feels like a phone call. <laughs> Check out this. Romeo Lavia suffered a problem with his tie in the win of uh, Paris. Mauricio Pochettino on Romeo Lavia, a little bit worried about Lavia. He's finished with some issues. I hope that is not a big issue, of course. I hope to. It's not a big issue. I hope it just, you know, is recovering. And I was thinking, pff, why did we rush him anyway? So that's uh, Lavia. I hope he's okay. I hope he's not a big problem. I don't want to see another news. Oh, Lavia, he's gone for two months, blah, blah, blah. He'll be a bad one. <laughs> he will be a bad one. So I hope everything is okay. I should have done a match preview today, but we got this news today. So this is why I'm doing this. But a match preview tomorrow, 
show it's gonna be a great match preview i have to talk about that preview luton town we're going to luton town luton town right no no luton town what am i saying <laughs> <laughs> Luton Town, of course, that's correct. So we are going to their background or in their yard. In a background, right? Background. Is that the right word? What's going on today? <laughs> we are going on their home and kick their butt. How are we going to kick their butt? Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be a great game. I am very interested to see that game. <laughs> Let me know down in the comment what do you think and I can show you some stuff uh, the game we played with Crystal Palace I have a video you know on my phone it's gonna be great to see when we do a preview tomorrow now let's move on to another news let's see what is going on on some players of course we got another news on uh, you know Garaga yeah I think this is a confirmation and it's not looking good. Here it is. Chelsea will sell Ganagaraga for a bid of 45 to 50 million. Ben and Egg, Barry Joe Shield, and the two sporting directors will all be involved in this window. No imminence power for Pochettino. Exactly. Like I said, if a manager doesn't have power in the transfer market or on the team, there is no use of him. You know, there is nothing. It's just a blank. It's a, it's a paper without nothing on written on it. If you understand that <laughs> language. So there's no... It's just crazy. It's just crazy. Only God can change the situation, you know. Putting gold in football is not a good thing. But anyway, I, ha I just have to do it. Only God can fix things anyway. <laughs> it's crazy. But Portadino doesn't have power look i'm having a great day today this is why i keep laughing you know i'm having a just great day it's, it was just a nice day where i was so i'm in that mood of happiness feeling good feeling fantastic i don't know about you let me know in the comment i'm feeling it today i'm definitely feeling it if you see that language anyway or if you know that language let's go to tiago silva check out this 100 premier league games incredible Chelsea legend, without a question. For me, Thiago Silva, 100 Premier League games. Chelsea legend. Now, some people, they'll be like, what are you saying? 100 Premier League games and you keep saying Chelsea legend? Get out. Look, I understand what you're saying and I understand why you're saying get out. But he has saved Chelsea so many times. If it wasn't for Thiago Silva, pff, we'll have just like, remember, we have laid all these goals this season 2023 59 goals something like that we have let them in it's incredible when you think about that incredible we are so bad we are so bad very bad than porter when we had porter and we had frank lampard we were not this bad but this season with portotino we are so bad very bad and other people they'll be like thinking about it. are you saying the truth isaac i'm saying the truth go check out <laughs> go check it out it's over there it's on here and it's waiting for you my dear friend it's just waiting for you right there with the plates and the spoon if you want to eat you can eat it if you don't want to don't go look <laughs> let me know down in the comment what do you think let's keep going now paul merson that's his name paul merson keep predicting chelsea games right and other games he keep predicting oh this game is gonna be this this game is gonna be this he predicted luton town this is chelsea 1-1 one, one. check out this paul merson predicted luton town 1-1 one, one, chelsea i was at chelsea last night and i heard they were fortunate to get all three points as they scored a late penalty to beat crystal paris 2-1 luton town a good Team at home so I think this will be a tough game look he said I will I, I got him on one note he said he said he did not think Chelsea they'll get a three points with Crystal Palace so I hope he's wrong with this is Luton Town he's thinking it's gonna end 1-1 well maybe Chelsea will win 2-1 what about that or maybe Chelsea will end up winning 3-0 I'm just saying or maybe we lose 2-1 or maybe we draw 1-1 like he said 
Football works differently. So let's see what's gonna happen. I hope we get him wrong. <laughs> I hope we get him wrong. I did not see his prediction with his Crystal Paris Chelsea. I forgot about that, or maybe I did not see it online. I always see his um, uh, update. I followed him on Twitter, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know down in the comment what do you think? Wow, there's more players to go this January or this summer. So yeah, check out this. Ian Madsen and Trevor Charaba are both available for sale in January. Kanagaraga and Nan Madweke. Hey, could also make way if the right offers comes in. I do not think about Mam Madweke. Madweke on the transfer list. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Look, you have to make your atmosphere very good sometimes. This club right now is a mess. They are selling all these carbon players because of profit, of course, right? They love that. It's all about business. It's all about cash, money. They love that. But you see all this stuff going on, you know, you read this Chelsea doing this, your team, you know, it's in this kind of trouble. If you are not careful, you you explore, you'll be, you know, angry, you'll be like shaking the camera, you guys, but you know, you don't need all that stuff. I don't need that. I don't need that negative in my life. I don't need this stress too much about Chelsea football club, you know, we are a mess right now and it is what it is. It's not acceptable, I'm saying it is what it is, but yeah, all these players going, incredible incredible Nan Madweke is not fair I have to say he scored against Crystal Paris he gave us three points and he keep improving right it's just crazy he need game time he need time in this Chelsea team he need to play you know Ian Madsen too in that game Crystal Paris he was a little bit shaky you know it's just crazy on Charaba Charaba we know I think everybody knows about Charaba it's been a long time he's been on the transfer list Chelsea they are trying to get rid of Charaba for a long time now so if he leaves in January looks like uh, Grasatra they were looking about that one and I heard about uh, West Ham looking on Charaba there was a Luma yeah so let's see what's gonna happen in January I will see you soon guys let me know down in the comment ha 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 and if you are new subscribe to Isaac Football Club hit that notification bell I will see you tomorrow for a preview Luton Town versus Chelsea and we'll enjoy that I will enjoy the preview tomorrow I will enjoy that one so be there don't miss it open your eyes it will drop very very soon my dear friend ha 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 stay safe wherever you are and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and God bless Go ahead. Oh! 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 Oh!